Jumping on my bed, have yellow coats on. I think it looks cute. John's not commenting. Um, yeah, we've not vlogged for a couple of weeks, but today is the day of our six week early scan. Um, exciting, scared, but yeah. We are technically six weeks, three days today. Um, John's driving me to work. We don't, we're not going straight there. It's not until lunchtime, but yes. Early scan. Everything crossed. Hi guys. Hello. Um, it's actually Tuesday. We didn't update yesterday. Uh, basically, we had our appointment. We both had to go back to work, and then after work, I went to bed, got up, ate tea, and went back to bed. Um, everything was pretty amazing yesterday, wasn't it? saw a little heartbeat um, which we weren't you're not guaranteed at a six week scan because sometimes it can take up to eight weeks to see but we saw it very exciting we've got a little bit of stress about sorting out meds because the NHS won't help um, it's silly because the doctor said for them that if we were staying there or we lived there you know he'd have us in at six weeks we'd have a scan Write some new prescription, uh, that. So, get yourself a scan in England. He says, and then obviously they'll be able to help you. He says, but the medication that you're on is XYZ and it's called ZYX in England. And he gave me the names of everything in English and in the Polish brand. It's the same stuff, just a different brand. And it was just a no, sorry, I don't don't know what they are. Not not the end of it. Like, really? Just Please, wouldn't... just... Or what, like... what would you recommend for somebody who'd had it done through you? Oh, well, see, we, we're just here to do your scan. All right. So it's like yesterday, it was a little bit... It was bittersweet, because obviously the scan was beautiful. I did cry. Um, but it was like, they'd take... Because obviously we had to pay for our scan. Um, so it's like, they'd take our money, they'd do our scan, but they'll give us no advice. And it's like, surely... They're yeah. there to give... You know to help prevent miscarriage and things but no so I was trying to sort that out John was getting um, trying to get hold of Poland and stuff but our consultant doesn't work Tuesdays and it's all a bit meh took a little bit of the shine off of things but we have a healthy heartbeat which is what matters um, and we're going back in a couple of weeks for an eight-week scan so that should be hopefully fabulous. Good morning guys and happy Monday. It is about half past eight. I'm at home at half eight. I would normally have been in the office for about 20 minutes by now. Um, John is has gone to work. Uh, the reason for the late start, I haven't got the day off, I am going in later. Um, but we have our eight week scan today. Um, so yeah, so going to that and then I'm going into work um, but we did hope that John could have had the morning off with me but such is life as a self-employed person um, the boss doesn't always get the day off bless him but yes today is our eight week scan um, a lot less nervous than I was for the six week scan but still there's there's nerves there there's nerves there um, and then you kind of that you know, I'm at that point where I'm like well I'm not I haven't had any bleeding or anything so I'm pretty confident everything's okay but then you see these things about what's called a mis miscarriage where people you know they can go I think it's up to seven days before the bleeding starts but the, the baby's died and it's like then the paranoia kicks in and you're like oh my god how you know then my brain's like going, well I wasn't that nauseous yesterday and like I wasn't that tired yesterday and my bo boobs are still sore and they're still quite huge and your brain starts messing with you and actually no you just had a good day yesterday and everything is probably fine like percentage wise it's like if you have a heartbeat at six weeks I think you're like it's something like 70 something percent chances that everything's going to be okay and then if you have a heartbeat at six weeks and eight weeks, that goes up to like 90 something percent that everything's going to be okay. And you kind of continue, it's like, you know, we're going to be all right. But there's a little bit of a, 
anticipation, palpitation, feeling this morning, so... And I'm also not feeling sick this morning, so that's two days on the bounce, I've not felt sick. And whereas I should be feeling that's amazing, I don't feel sick. My heart and my head's going, is that a bad thing? Craziness, absolute craziness. Anyway, how are you? <sighs> I'm going a little bit insane right now, but no, I'm okay. Um, I'm gonna have some food because I'm hungry. Um, so today's Monday, Saturday, John and I have been together 17 years. How crazy is that? 17 years, wow. Right, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna eat some food and then try and fix this. <laughs> My ham and cheese is a little bit big for my bagels. Um, so I'm going to fold it in half. But yeah, I've got Warburton bagel thin with a slice of ham and this is Cathedral City. And I'm going to put one in a sandwich bag for John to eat in the car when he comes to pick me up. But yeah, that just made me laugh. I'll fold it up and make it look normal, but just the size of the ham in comparison to the bagel made me laugh. So John's coming to pick me up. <laughs> How are you feeling, Beach? Well, it's going fine, but it's traffic, not so fine. You've put traffic lights in at the bottom of the road. We've been sat here for... Nearly 10 minutes now. Oh, we're moving. We'll still be on time, though. We've got half an hour. Do you reckon we'll be all right for time? Yesterday, I was very confident about and excited about today, and today I am nervous. You're oh, feeling good though, aren't you? No, I'm all right. I'm just neither, neither one nor the other. I told you, I'm just trying to stay calm throughout this whole process right now. I'm not excited. I am excited, but I'm not trying to get too excited. I'm not trying to get nervous, I'm just trying to stay. It's yesterday. Oh, okay. Slightly less nervous. Nausea wave. Um, yesterday I was fine. Today I'm nervous. But it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Hi guys. And I'm home. Um, it is half six. I look hideous. Just tired. But John's not home from work yet, so we had our scan, um, and then I went to work, and John went to work, and yeah. But the scan, everything went very well. We saw a heartbeat, we're growing very nicely. Um, our little pickle has tripled in size in two weeks, which is good. And yeah, kind of like, we're now going to be officially handed over to the local midwife rather than like being under the hospital like we've been kind of given details about how oh Darwin wants to come in um we've been given details about how to start weaning off our current meds so we don't do that so we're eight weeks three oh, I'm so tired eight weeks three at the moment and we start weaning off on week 10 and then by the end of week 12 we will just be like on folic acid and vitamins like like normal pregnant people um but yeah everything everything is good i'm just tired i've got really sore boobs but everything is pretty perfect right now Very happy. Very happy. 